Hi everyone, on this channel I create videos packed with lots of great information. So if you're interested in learning new things, subscribe to my channel. This is another video in my series about using Microsoft Excel. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can freeze specific rows and columns so that you can see those rows and columns no matter how far you scroll up, down, left, or right. Let's take a look at a few examples. This is just a basic data set that has some data from a survey. Each person filling out the survey was given a participant number. So you got participant number 101, 102, 103, 104. And the data for each one of those participants is in a row. So this particular person was a male, we code that as a 1, 45 years old, a junior in college with a GPA of 3.8. To get a sense of the results, at the bottom of each column, I ran some basic descriptive statistics. So for example, there were 50 respondents, the lowest GPA was 1.6, the highest was 3.8, and the average was about 2.95. But you can already see that we run into a problem, because when I scroll down here to take a look at the results, it's hard for me to see what do these results actually represent. And that's because after I scroll down, I'm now no longer able to see the column headers. I would have to scroll all the way back up and see that this is the data for age and then scroll back down and take a look at the results. So what I really wanna do is have a method of freezing this first row so that I can see those column headers regardless of how far down I scroll. And it turns out that there's a really simple solution for that. Go ahead to the top and take a look at your menu options and you'll see one option for view, click on that. In the view menu, you'll see an option for freeze panes, click on that. There are three options available, and the one that we want is right here, freeze top row. Click it. With that top row frozen, no matter how far down I scroll, I can still see those labels. And that's a really nice feature. If you want to turn that off, you can go back to freeze panes and click on unfreeze panes. Let me show you another problem that's similar. In this particular data set, each participant responded to a variety of questions. So as I'm entering the data, I need to scroll over quite a bit to the right. And at some point, I can no longer see the participant's number. And that makes it hard to enter the data because when I get down here, I need to ask myself, which participant is this? But I no longer see their participant number. If I needed to look up what their number was, I'd have to scroll all the way to the left in order to see it. So it would be really nice if somehow I can freeze this first column so that no matter how far I scroll to the right, that column and its numbers are always there in front of me. Again, we'll want to look at the freeze panes menu. In this case, we'll want to select this third option, freeze the first column, click on that. Now with this column frozen, you can see no matter how far I scroll to the right, I can always see each person's participant number listed. And just like before, if I want to turn off the frozen column, I can click on freeze panes and then select unfreeze panes. You probably noticed that there are three options for freezing the panes. We covered freezing the top row and freezing the first column, but there's also a general option for freezing the panes. And that's gonna freeze the panes based on where your current selection or current location is. Let me show you what I mean. Let's move to this second spreadsheet. And this is an example of a grade book that I might use in Excel. So here I've got a column for the student's last name, first name, their ID number, their major, and then grades for various quizzes and exams and things like that. And you can see here, when I scroll all the way to the right, I can no longer see the student's name. And when I scroll down, I can no longer see the column headings. So what I'd really like to do is to be able to freeze not only that top row so that I can see the column headings, but also the left columns so that I can see the student's name. And I wanna be able to see not only their last name, but also their first name. So in other words, I wanna freeze the panes right about here. If I select freeze panes right here, it will freeze all of the rows above it, which in this case is just the first row. And it'll also freeze the columns to the left, which would be these first two rows. 
So in that case, no matter how far down I scroll, I can still see the column headers. And no matter how far to the right I scroll, I can still see the student's last name and first name. So I'm going to move over to Freeze Panes, and I'm going to select Freeze Panes. You can see it put in some imaginary lines to show that those panes are frozen. And now, no matter how far down I go, I can still see those column headings. And no matter how far to the right I go, I can still see the student's last name and first name. So it works out really well. And if I want to turn off the frozen panes, I can just go back to Freeze Panes and then click Unfreeze Panes. So it's that easy and it's really helpful. Excel has lots of great features, so take some time to play with Excel and see what it can do for you. If you found this video helpful, like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.